The Blight, a creeping black fungus that feeds on the will of its hosts. Pulsating with toxic blood too dangerous to touch, too dangerous to ignore. We must drain the eye core of this dark infection. Its mindless husks will protect its core. So I build weapons, towers which conjure flames, chill the air, move the earth. Even so, I need your might. And to the mighty go the spoils. The source of this blight is out there. Its black tendrils reaching for us. We will seek it out and purge it. The blight is here, and we are the cure. In the Blight League, Sister Cassia is trying to stop the spread of the mind-controlling blight by destroying fungal growths. When attacked, the blight commands infected monsters to defend it. The monsters mindlessly follow the blight's tendrils, only attacking foes directly in their path. The infected are unusually tough, so you'll need to build defensive towers to exploit each monster's specific weaknesses. For each tendril lane you defend, a chest will appear with your rewards. These rewards can include oils, which Sister Cassia can combine together to enchant certain items. Blighted maps contain larger pockets of infection. Cleanse these for rewards, including unique items which can be enchanted with notable passive skills. In Path of Exile Blight, we also have a focus on giving you more control over when you run side content. Master missions now stack for later if you don't run them immediately. This expansion also contains significant revamps to the Saboteur, Assassin, and Necromancer Ascendancy classes, as well as an additional bar of skill bindings. Check out Path of Exile Blight on September 6th.